Hey guys, it's Zero. I'm just gonna ahead and purchase the, the Stanley parable. So <clears throat> I just uh, adjusted the uh, video settings and I'm about to dive into the game for the first time. Let's check it out. In the game, the end is never. The end is never. What? All right, whatever. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. The one -end -typer. And although Great. others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, I need to reverse my mouse. I'm an invert player. Keyboard and mouse. Reverse mouse. Enabled. All right, here we go. Something's not right here. Coffee, dirty ass desk. Is this the highest the graphics things can go? Let me see. Video. Over the top right foot, advanced. Uh, Disabled, enabled, high, very high, effect detail, high, high, okay, now let's check it out. There we go. Resume the game. It looks like poop, but okay, whatever. Four two nine is not in his office. Four two eight. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it? Stanley be? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Where's the meeting room? on his screen. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay, enter the door on my left. Hmm. The door closed on me. Why? What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Not this old dispute with the coworker. Let it pull up inside you. Take out, take it out. What? what, what? Using slides to assure employees that everything's okay. Stick blue graphic in the header. Throw some devil on all text. <laughs> Everyone is unique. You most of all. Yeah, that's uh, very unique. <clears throat> Number on the slide charts. Charts the slides. Slides. Huh. Mm. To do synergize core values, expenditures, shift global market tr parade, monetize free to play. Hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. What's this say? Buy quarterly post review. Review. Nice. Teenagers. Size of demographic. A lot of percent <laughs> space between the teenagers. Throw something in the idea bin. Nice. What do people want? Things? Happy feelings is crossed out. Mike James, you are fired. <laughs> Graphic about things and money. We have our new product. What's well, hot? Target to our teenagers. Profits, 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 profits. <laughs> okay, whatever. Room closet. Hmm. Can't go in room closet. Oh, wait, I can. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, I didn't. I'm looking around for something to smash things with. Like that pipe wrench. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. It's no empty. reason to still be here. No, there's a reason to still be here. You're, you're still talking. You get the broom and it the broom was baffling closet. that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely All right, confused. Alright, fine. Shut up. I'm leaving. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs to boss's office. Okay. Blinding light outside. Open. Nope. Mm, already open. Ooh, suave. Executive bathroom. I want to poop on a golden toilet. Nope. Can't do it. What's the admin have here? An immovable chair. Papers, pencils, two phones of the same kind. Okay. Is that the boss's office? Or is this the boss's office? Yeah. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2 Eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Pin number, personal identification number, number. Two, eight, four, five, great. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything Two. on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combinate yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. <laughs> he stepped into the newly opened passageway.
freight elevator. Oh boy. Loading, 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 loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Mm. Dank, dark hallway. Spray-painted floors. Stanley walked straight ahead Mind through the large door of the red mind <laughs> control facility. Really? Escape. Escape. Oh, I'm interested. What's this mind control facility? Wait, oh, the door's gonna close behind me. Yep. <laughs> the idea button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Camera. Empty desk, empty desk, empty desk. Okay, camera button, go. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Is that one out up there? Right there, which I can zoom in. One of them is out. Was it four fired? Ooh, employee fired. Four two seven. Four two seven. There I am. That's me. Or this character. All right. Bathroom. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, how will I dismantle the controls with my bare fists? Or push the big shiny red button? Nope, not a button. Is that a button? It is, but it does nothing. The button, it does nothing. Okay. Guess into the facility power. Five. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. Hmm. Doors didn't close on me. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Off. <laughs> GG, I win. Good game.
blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Hurry up, hurry up. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Why don't you look back and see the facility? The end is never. What? Why am I back at my desk? Oh, the achievement unlocked. Beat the game. Yay. Why am I back in here? All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I guess I'll make another video. I, I beat the game, I guess. Later.